So Halloween is tomorrow, a day that is known for lots of scary monsters. Yeah, but it turns out not all monsters are scary. In fact, some are works of art. Jovi's here now to introduce us to a local monster maker. Hey, Kim and Shauna, as kids, perhaps you imagined a monster living under your bed or in your closet. Well, now you can bring that creature into the light and onto your mantle. It's not the work of a mad scientist, but a mild mannered artist. <laughs> It's part art studio, part laboratory, where James DeRoso's creations come to life. I, uh, I make monsters. For 20 years, James has made these unique ceramic critters who are sometimes short in stature, but always big in personality. And you thought all monsters were scary. These are right, yeah. pretty doggone adorable. Yeah, little creatures that are trying to be scary but can't pull it off. It all began when James was an up-and-coming ceramic artist. While his friends were making bowls, cups, or even statues, James wanted to examine a different path. You try to do something that was real in either clay or illustration, you know, it's a demand. No, people know what that looks like. But with the monsters, I was free to just make whatever I felt like. The first ones were inspired by children's books. Maurice Sendak, of course, he wrote Where the Wild Things Are. And yeah, I love the imagery in it and the imagination of it. Each monster begins as a notepad sketch. It's like, is it an underbite or or maybe an overbite? Then he gets hands-on with the clay. Sinking an eyeball into a socket and then giving that eyeball a pupil hole. They're painted, glazed, and put in a kiln. The big ones can take hours or even days to make, but his monsters come in all shapes and sizes. All these guys, the mo open mouths with claws out, they're my scream series. And they're, some people say it's the burp series. These are shot glasses. You know, I, I love making the smaller, fun things. What began as a side project became a monster hit, to the point where James quit his graphic design job and now makes these little guys full time for a living. He sells them at art shows, online, and even teaches kids how to mold their own monsters. Every week, I'm going to some school somewhere and teaching, usually between second graders and, and sixth graders, of, you know, how to get their monster on. To his students and patrons, James is part Dr. Frankenstein and part Mr. Rogers, encouraging imagination, creativity, and a love of art, from the whimsical to the downright monstrous. I want to be fun and not intimidating, not scary, you know. And as long as he has clay in his hands and little beasts on the brain, James will keep creating his cuddly little creatures that go bump in the night. These are the monsters you can laugh at instead of scream at. They're so cute. They have such personality. They have a oh. ton of personality. And so the bulk of where he sells those are at art shows. Okay. And actually, they've got one coming up November the 10th at the uh, Eagles Lodge on Hawthorne. Okay. So it's a big ceramic fair. Yeah. And that's where he sells most of them. And again, What's... this is what he does for a full-time yeah. loving. Why are the price monsters. points for this? So type? those little ones are, you know, pretty affordable. Yeah. I, I can't remember the exact price, but, you know, they're... Yeah, 30, but they range into the yeah, thousands but, probably, But right? the big ones, yeah, he does actually does... Uh, he'll do, uh, you know, custom work, too, if people, oh. you know, like, will basically commission him yeah. to create a job giant monster for their backyard so, so it neat. can be hundreds so cool. how big of a monster do you want I guess he's so talented yeah very much how so. neat to make your yeah. passion it's his full-time yeah. yeah I yeah. love that Absolutely. thank you Joe yeah. Yeah. and I like that his theory of uh, you know people know what the real thing looks right. like yeah. I can it's make a it monster. Up, whatever yeah. Yeah. yes that's obviously there what a monster looks yeah. like that was wise <laughs> <laughs> well, fun with that.